iPhone 12 mini. So to me, this is the most interesting iPhone 12s among all other iPhones. And uh, so this is actually literally iPhone 12's miniature version. So basically the same spec, camera, A14 Bionic, OLED display, 5G. Yeah, so it's basically the same, but smaller. I already made video about iPhone 12, so I'm not gonna get into really details. But I'm gonna just talk about stuff that I kind of care about, and probably you care about. So first of all, the size. The size is so small. So I don't know about you, but my hand is so, I will say it's smaller hand. Uh, it's actually maybe seven inch wide when I spread like this, like 20 centimeter. When I hold it, I can actually touch like this. So if you have a hand like mine, like 20 centimeter, seven inches, you can actually hold like this. It feels so small. And it's so grippy because of the new design. It's really comfortable in your hand. So next, battery. Obviously, most of the specs are the same, but something has to be compromised. That's a battery. So iPhone 12 has 2800 mAh battery, and this is 2200 mAh battery. So it's small. But here's the thing. So to me, I'm the kind of person who don't really play game. I normally check Instagram, Twitter, watching YouTube videos, and web browsing, email, yeah, that's about it. And sometimes casual gaming. To me, if I don't play game, I can go through a day easily. Like, at the end of the day, 20% left or maybe 10% left. So to me, this is great. But if you wanna play game, I think this is gonna be a little bit challenging to really use throughout the day. So you're gonna have to bring battery charger with you. In iPhone, you can actually optimize your battery. For example, using shortcut, you can automatically turn on low power mode when battery hits 50% or 40% or whatever you set up. If I do that, I can easily go through whole day. I can actually leave maybe 30%, 20 to 30% comfortably at the end of the day. So it depends on how you use this phone, also how you set up your phone. This one actually lasts longer than you might think. Next, camera. Camera is basically the same as iPhone 12, so it's pretty good. Um, I actually compare it with iPhone 12 Pro, also Pro Max. And what I notice is that if there's enough light, you don't even notice the difference. You can take beautiful photos and videos, and it's not even noticeable, even compared to Pro models, even with Pro, Pro Max, honestly. Pro Max has 47% bigger sensor, yet if there's enough light, this one does a good job. <clears throat> and you might be thinking why. And my th guess is that despite the fact that there are significant hardware differences, Apple's machine learning is too good so the hardware difference is actually compensated by machine learning. So I think that's what's really happening. So, so to me, having this kind of quality of camera in this form factor is unbelievable. Next, display. So display is great. So this year, Apple decided to use OLED display across all iPhone 12 models. And this is pretty great. Um, last year, iPhone 11 had LCD display. Compared to that, this one has higher contrast ratio. It just looks pretty good. However though, due to its smaller size, the notch seems bigger. It's noticeably cut into the content. So sometimes I feel like, oh, I wish there's no notch, but yeah, I mean, what can you do, right? So I guess I'm gonna get used to it, but it is noticeably big. But overall, my thought is this is pretty great. Almost all same spec from iPhone 12, yet yeah, this form factor, it's so light, it's so small. And I think this would be perfect for someone like me having a smaller hand. So this would be perfect for ladies and uh, kids even. Many people would appreciate that. However, there's a th couple things that I, that I have to warn you before you get in this. First thing is that speaker. So speaker is, so speaker is less powerful noticeably. So if you look at it, actually, 
there's a less um, grill on the bottom so my guess is that smaller speaker is inside compared to other models I don't know but it is noticeably smaller in volume so you might want to know that second thing is that MagSafe you can you can still use MagSafe but this one only supports 12 watt so it's a little slower compared to 15 watt but honestly I don't think that's a big deal if you care about that just use the lightning cable and you should be fine the lastly the keyboard so because it's so small to me though like it's really hard to type in I mistype a lot like I've been using this for like a day and I haven't even got used to this smaller keyboard so maybe if you have bigger hand I think it might be harder to just type in especially if you're coming from bigger display in summary though this little thing is such a masterpiece of engineering to pack all the tech including MagSafe, 5G, new camera and everything else in this form factor is such a accomplishment in engineering yes there's a concern around battery but but if you set up right like automated low power mode and stuff like that this one actually lasts comfortably throughout the day at least to me so I think this is a really good deal for many people and lastly I would like to kind of touch on my thoughts on iPhone 12 mini's impact on industry so if you look around the market there's not many flagship that's under 6.0 inch display and this I think changes the industry my guess is that many Android makers are gonna release smaller flagships because of this if you look at the past there's a trend where iPhone size really set the trend for the Android when iPhone 10 is released that was the time when Android started to go big like Samsung for example used to make smaller phone but anytime after iPhone 10 because that was a big jump in its size so Android smartphone makers started to think like oh Apple is making bigger phones and that's okay I guess then why don't we just do it and then after that Samsung started to make bigger phones because of the iPhone 10 so I think this is gonna kickstart the new trend to make flagship smaller phone in the future and I think I welcome that OnePlus CEO already said that they are working on smaller flagship also I would assume many Chinese companies and Samsung's and whatnot are gonna release smaller phone as well so yeah let's see what's gonna happen <laughs> so this has been my review and uh, I'm gonna put up um, iPhone 12 Pro Max video as well all those exciting things so uh, thanks so much for subscribing for like maybe 20 people you're the best and uh, yeah more to come so I'll see you in the next video have a good day